Do you mind? Daddy's trying to do a review. Would you mind if uh, Daddy did a review? Would that be okay with you? Do you mind? Can you go lay down so Daddy can do a review? I really appreciate it. All right, why don't you go lay down? Good boy. Now on to the review. What's going on everybody? SLB coming at you with another video review and this time we're taking a look at X Transbots Master Mini Series 85MM-XII Naval Defense Neptune. Whew, that was a mouthful. Even though X Transbots calls him Neptune, we call him Sea Spray. But before we get into the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. In front of the packaging here, you just have a nice picture of Neptune or Sea Spray. Looks like he's skiing there. This side of the packaging, product shot, X Transbots, blah de blah de blah. This side of the packaging, robot mode, X Transbots, blah de blah de blah. This side of the packaging, X Transbots, blah de blah de blah. Bomb the packaging, product shot, barcode. That, that, this, and the other, right there. Back to the packaging, you just have a nice picture of a beach with a beach ball and a pail and a shovel. Kind of takes you back. Kind of gives you a nice relaxed feeling. <sighs> ah, sorry, anyways. Bottom of the packaging, you just have kind of like a G1 uh, tech spec at the bottom here with a little brief bio and all that fun stuff. That is it for the packaging. Let's get him out of the packaging and see what he looks like in hand. So here we have Neptune out of the packaging before we get into the figure. Like always, let's go over what's included with said packaging. First thing you get is the obligatory instruction sheet here, which is a little bit bigger than their uh, Stunicons, which I do appreciate because if you ever picked up their uh, Stunicons, you know you need a magnifying glass to read the instructions because they're about like this big. Anyway. Same artwork as the packaging right there on the front, and the instructions are pretty good. Uh, there are some problems, sometimes I had problems, God bless the internet for that. That's it for the instruction book. Also included in the packaging, you do get the obligatory in collector card here, which you know me, you know I love my collector cards. Same artwork as the packaging right there on the front, on the back. The, the same brief bio and a little bit more legible tech specs right there for the collector card. Nice, nice, nice. I sound like Mike Tyson. Nice, thick card stock. Nice, thick card stock there for X Transbots. Thank you very much for that. Also included in the packaging, you do get skis because of that one time in that one episode where Bumblebee was on skis. So there you have that. And just a quick note, they come in the pack. Mine at least came in the packaging like this. This is the wrong way. All you gotta do is unpeg it, it's a little snug, you gotta flip it around, line them up, there you go. And that's the way they're supposed to be, just like that. Nice clear blue plastic right there, nice white plastic for the skis, and we'll get more into this when we get into, uh, when we fit, when, when I do the uh, robot mode, uh, the vehicle mode gimmicks, I'll go over these, so there you have that. Since it's X Transbots, you also get Screwdriver. Very nice of them. Thank you for the screwdriver. You have no idea how many times these things have come in handy. Not gonna lie. Also included in the packaging in uh, some nice plastic here, you get an abundance of accessories, alternate head, weapon, alternate eyes, rope, beach ball, bucket with shovel, and more water accessories right there. And I'll go over these a little bit. I'll go over the beach ball and the bucket when we get into robot mode. And I'll go over everything else pretty much when I feel like it's necessary. My video. I can do what I want. So here we have Neptune in his uh, vehicle mode here, which is pretty good. Very nice representation of Sea Spray here. Got a little bit of heft to him. Just about as much as fans toys, but looks very nice all throughout. It's getting close here. This metallic blue is very beautiful. I like it. like it. Blue plastic. Uh, Transparent uh, windows here, very nice, kind of a fingerprint magnet, pretty nice. Got some nice yellow painted up here, some white plastic, it's more of that blue, 
looks very good. A little bit of mullet detail throughout, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Looks very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, visible head syndrome back there. You can see his head just hiding out back there. Propellers spin freely. They do not get in the way of each other. I could do this for hours, people. Wee! Wee! All right, anyways, moving on. Same thing on the other side, a little bit of mold of detail throughout here. Nice, that, that this blue is very nice and shiny. I like it very much. A little bit of yellow paint up here. A little bit of silver up top. Looks very nice all throughout. Bottom of the figure, cleans up very well. No kibble whatsoever. I mean, it's sea spray, so you pretty much know that feet, arms, blah de blah de blah. So there you have that. He also has uh, wheels down here, and look at that. He can roll. Whee! Whee! So the first accessory we're going to bring out is going to be uh, the rope and handle here. It's actually a pretty strong, durable rope. Doesn't feel cheap at all. Black plastic for the handle here. And you just have a little thing right here. You may have to bring that out a little bit. There you go. Just like that. Voila. Careful doing that, but there you go. And there you have that. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to transform Bumblebee. Be right back. While my assistant is off to the side transforming Bumblebee, we will bring in these water features here. And it's the same clear blue plastic as it is on the skis. And you just got some pegs that fit right in here. Easier than it looks. Hang on, be right back. There we go. And as you can see, kind of lose it with the back with the uh, background of the figure here because this is blue and this is blue plastic, but there you have that. And since my assistant has kindly finished transforming Bumblebee, thank you, assistant. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You take Bumblebee here, you take one set of skis, and you just, you just. If only the instructions would show you how to do this. Be right back. There we go. Okay. I mean, it's kind of simple when you think about it, how to put the skis on them. But again, it's one of those nitpicky things like little help would be nice. Just my personal preference. I don't want to go in there blind and trying to figure this thing out and lo and behold, break a figure, you know? But other than that, let's just get his arms situated here. Let's plug him into his hands like this and like that. There you go. And there you have him skiing. Yay! Whoopee! Hooray for gimmicks. Going back to the figure here, it's a pretty good figure. And his uh, vehicle mode, I like it. Got, like I said, got some nice heft to him. Like the overall, you know, silhouette of it. Looks really good. Looks very reminiscent of Sea Spray, you know, colors and everything. So yeah. One also little gimmicky thing that he can do, there's this little piece up here, you can flip up like that. Little gun. Pew. Pew. That's pretty much it. So that's it for vehicle mode. Let's get into some comparison, shall we? Here he is next to Fans Toys Spindrift, or their version of Sea Spray. Here he is next to Transformers Titans Return Sea Spray. And here he is next to Transformers Takarotomi Masterpiece Bumblebee. And thank you to my lovely assistant for transforming it back for me. So that is it for the comparisons. Let's get him into robot mode and see what robot mode looks like. So here we have Neptune in his robot mode. And before we get into some other things, let's go over the look of the figure. And the figure looks really good. I like him. I'm going to say I like him a lot better than fan stories. But we'll get into that when we get into final thoughts. So let's take a quick look at that noggin there. Very nice head sculpt there. Speaking of which, let's just get this out of the way. Uh, also included, you know, you do get the alternate faceplate here, which is pretty much the same as this one. It just has a little bit of molded detail in the mouth area. And if you take a little, you know, black Sharpie or something, you can give it a little bit of washing, a little bit of dry paint here and kind of give it a little bit more depth, but there you have that. You also get additional pair of eyes, so you get goggles instead of these beady little eyes there. 
So if you want to do that, you can do that. All you got to do, there's a panel back here you just pop off. You, know, you just take the screw that they gave you, unscrew the screw, and just replace it like so. So there you have that. Also included in the packaging, you do get an alternate uh, set of face, face here, alternate set of face, an alternate face here. So if you don't like the silver, you can use the red. So there you have that. It's the same process as before. So moving on, you know, then we get that out of the way. Let's get back into the figure here. Face sculpt is nice, nice silver paint. Nice beady blue eyes with a little black outline. Looks very nice. Very nice indeed. And I'm going to be completely honest, it's the exact same thing you saw in vehicle mode. Not a lot has changed here, except for, you know, the hands and the thighs. I mean, that's pretty much what you get here. It's sea spray. That's how his transformation goes. No matter which company you go with, no matter what line you choose, that's how sea spray works. The only real difference is this panel right here. If you just pop it like this, it flips forward like that. You get a little bit of mold of detail in the stomach area here for that. That's pretty much all you're going to get, difference-wise. I mean, you got some silver paint, a little bit more visible in robot mode than it is in vehicle mode. But there you have that. So looks very nice, cleans up very well. No kibble, no nothing. Looks very nice very good I like it I dig it so let's get him situated and let's go over the articulation the head is on a mushroom it can do a full 360 here which is very nice very nice tight it's also on a hinge so he can look up eh, that far you can look down a pretty good distance too arms you can do a full 360 they can go outwards right there there's another hinge right here so if you want to get a little bit more range of movement you can utilize that as well which is pretty good by nice tight bicep swivel right there and if you want to lose it it looks like there's a panel right here if you just want to pop that off you can double bend elbow right there almost gives you the full bend right there but due to the molding you can't and i like this little added bit right here so it's not looking like he's breaking his arm. It kind of gives you a little bit so you don't break the mold, so to speak. So there you have that. Wrist is on a swivel as well. Fingers molded together, and they're on a hinge. They can go out like that. Get the arms out of the way. You do have a full rotation at the waist, which is nice. A little bit of an ab crunch, too, which is kind of cool. So there, a lot of figures nowadays are utilizing or using an ab crunch, which are cool for some people that you know pose their figures they want to get them doing that so there you have that legs can go forward that far can go back that far and a nice tight outward movement like that there is a not a little this is a lot of a hip swivel right there very nice tight knee Urgh. very tight gets a little over 90 if you want to go further you can just be careful don't want to break your you know, figure no swivel at the ankle but you get a little bit of forward a little bit backward movement there and if you want to break his ankle you completely can and let's bring in some other accessories here you do get his blaster here which is pretty much uh, a little bit bigger than MP Bumblebee's blaster here but it's almost identical which is kind of a bummer you know I kind of wish they would upscale it not upscale it but do something different but there you have that Blue plastic, a little bit of shine to it, a little bit of paint. Plugs in his hand right there. There's no peg or anything. It's just fort done. There you go. Also, I showed it off earlier, but let's show it off again. Let's bring him back. And here's the beach ball. It's it's nothing exciting. It's a beach ball. You gotta position his hands for him to hold it. It's there if you want to use it. I mean, it's a beach ball. I get why they did it. There's probably that one time, that one episode, or you know, sea spray beach. Beach ball, yeah, whatever. Whoop. Lost it. Found it. We're good. Another accessory that's included with Neptune here is the bucket and shovel. Because there's probably that one time in that one episode that he did it. Or, you know, sea spray, beach, beach accessory. I don't know. Just the same handle as the weapon. Just slides right in there. And you can open that. And he can hold that so he can skip down the beach and get ready to build a sandcastle. But let's get into some... Oh, sorry, one more thing. 
the water effects that you plugged in uh, for vehicle mode, which are right here, you can plug them into robot mode. There's just some couple of holes. You just take the pegs, line it up, and with the greatest of ease, plug it in like that. So you can kind of mimic the packaging if you wish. That's up to you. You can do with it what you want. It is your figure. Me, I'm just going to leave them like that. But since we got that out of the way, let's get into some comparisons. Here he is next to Fans Toy Spindrift, or their version of Sea Spray. Here he is next to Transformers Titans Return Sea Spray. Here he is next to Transformers Takara Tomy Masterpiece Bumblebee. And here he is next to just some other Autobots that I have. There he is next to Transformers Takara Tomy Sideswipe, Fans Toys Coot, their version of Cup, Zeta Silver Arrow, their version of Silver Bolt, MP10 himself, Generation Toys Motor or Groove. Just give you some more comparisons. Yay, comparisons! So that is it for comparisons. Let's get into a final pose and get into some final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for X, Trans, Bots, Neptune here. The robot, the not the robot, the vehicle mode. Looks good, cleans up well, everything pegs together and holds itself together very well so you don't have to worry about you know, things just coming apart when you go to transform one thing over the other. The gimmick with the skis and the, the, the rope and everything, it's funny. I get why they did it, because that one time in that one episode, it's fine. Some people may use it for display purposes, some people may not. For me, personally, it's going back in the box. In vehicle mode and robot mode, I really like the blue they use for the arms and the feet. I like the shine to it. It looks a lot better than fans toys here i'm gonna say it right off the bat he looks a lot better than fans toys <gasps> oh my god am i bashing fans toys no i'm not bashing fans toys i'm just saying that this version is a lot better than their original version yes i know they're coming out with a version two i'm not gonna get it x transbots neptune scratches that sea spray itch he looks the part all over well the gimmick with the the beach ball and the bucket and shovel. I didn't need it. Again, going back in the box. The one thing I like over this than I did Fans Toys is, let me compare it to you this way. With Fans Toys, you've got some skinny kid, late teens, early 20s, trying to impress people at the beach. Neptune, big old belly, don't care. He's going to the beach to have fun. That's the best way I can compare it. He's la Fans Toys is lacking that belly. And then my belly, I mean this. This part makes the character stand out right here. Because if you remember from the G1 cartoon, Sea Spray had a little bit of punch. He had a little bit of a beer gut, if you will. And I think this is a better representation of that over Fans Toys. And again, yes, I know Fans Toys version 2 is coming out. Not getting it. I may look at it, but I'm probably not going to purchase it. Although... I'm weird like that, and I may, I don't know yet. I haven't figured it out yet. Gotta find out where my budget is. As far as comparison-wise with Bumblebee, with the original MPB, and the rest of the Transformers, I think it sizes pretty well. That's the thing with the 80s cartoon, is that the art kind of took liberties here and there with the drawing. I mean, sometimes he was a little bit taller than Bumblebee, sometimes he was a little bit, a little bit of the same height as Bumblebee. It, it, it all depends on which episode you're watching, I guess. But to me, I'm going to stick with the fact that he's a little bit taller than Bumblebee and keep this one the way it is. Am I getting rid of my fans' toys spin drift? No, don't ask me. I'm not selling it. I don't sell my toys. And that's just a personal thing. I'm not bashing anybody that does. You do what you do. But that's just my personal thing. I don't sell my stuff. I worked hard to pay for this stuff. I'm keeping it. For the love of God, I've got three... I've got... MP Hot Rod, I've got Fans Toys Hot Rod, and I've got the original MP Rodimus Prime. I'm digress. I'm going off track here, sorry. And again, I think he compares well with the you know, other MPs, with Generation Toys, the other Fans Toys, so I think that x transbot has got a good thing going with this figure. And overall, would I recommend him? Yeah, if you missed out on Fans Toys Spindrift, if you don't want to get the next Fans Toys Sea Spray, I know there's another, I think Toy World did one, I'm not sure, not 100% sure, but I would totally, if you missed out on all those other ones, get this one. And there are some minor nitpicks I have with this guy, there's some loose joints, there are some really super tight joints, 
there's this one thing where I think this panel, oh, sorry, let me just get him off here, here. This panel, I think, is on a hinge. I can see a pin through there, but I can't tell if it's supposed to peg in or not. I mean, maybe that's just me being weird, but hey, it is what it is. This is SLB, and this has been my review of X Transbots Master Mini Series 85 MM XII Naval Defense Neptune. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, like this video, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Links to everything in the description down below. If you'd like to leave a comment, leave a comment below that part. Hit that bell notification. Let you can get notified when I post a video. It's not often, but I do post videos. This is SLB, and I'm gonna go listen to some Beach Boys now for some reason. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning now. Come on a safari with me.